dropping his cue at everything. He started to play well and I think did believe pretty early on in that session that he could still win it. Not unusual though for an Australian sportsman to have so much grit and self-belief. 13. Yes, as we keep mentioning, Eddie Charlton, 11-6 up with Tony Knowles, back in the early 80s, and he managed to do the same thing, I'll tell you right about that Australian grit. And Eddie was still playing here into his 60s, <laughs> so there's uh, certainly hope for Steve Davis. 28. I'm told that um, Fred Davis was 70 when he appeared here in um, 1983, 4. Well, yeah, he was in the semi-finals at 64 in 1978. But he did play here after 29. that, you're quite right. Actually, 1984, he was 70 when he played here last. Incredible, <laughs> that, isn't it? You just can't foresee that happening again, could you? Although, if one man's going to do it, it'll be Steve Davis. <laughs> 37. Well, just left himself slightly hampered with the red. Not too bad for a right-handed player. Can he get to it with the rest? Just. Forty-three. So Robertson just needs the open reds. Won't need the safe red on that left side cushion. And 44. Steve Davis will be fearing the worst now. But what a run he's had, Joe. I mean, it, it's been tremendous, hasn't it, for, for him and I think for the game as well. Yes, I, I'm so pleased for him because he it showed such fighting qualities. Had to dig so deep 51. to have beaten John Higgins and Mark King, I might add, because um, that was a good win again. We keep mentioning John Higgins, but that was a good win against Mark King. Tough competitor. But I think he gave everything. In those two matches. 58. So he needs uh, the black and one more red. Does Neil Robertson to get himself into the semi finals for a second consecutive year? May well be playing the same man. He lost to Sean 65. Murphy 17 14 a year ago. Murphy's eight each with Ali Carter right now, but this red is for victory. 66. So Steve Davis's uh, terrific World Championship has come to an end. Neil Robertson wasn't even born when he won his first world title in 1981. Are we looking at this year's champion here? with a century. <coughs> it's already had 37 this season. Eight. It's more than anybody else.
82. Well, he's finishing in style. There was a lot of emotion and sentiment surrounding Steve Davis. Neil Robertson very professionally blocked all of that out, just got on with the job. And he's now completed the job with a century break in the last frame. Will the World Championship trophy be going down under? He'll take some stopping. Terrific finish. The fairy tale run of Steve Davis is over, but he can hold his head up high. It's been an excellent championship for him. But it's Neil Robertson, the winner, by 13 frames to five.